Hello, it's Chem Games here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create this realistic interactable water. So yeah, let's get started. So I have this empty third person template. First I want to go to the edit and to the plugins, and I want to search for Niagara Fluids. You want to make this true. After that, you have to restart the engine if it was false before. After that, you want to go to the folder where you want to add that Niagara Fluid actor. So you want to right click, uh, select Niagara System, and click on that, and on the Create 2D SW Particle Collision and create. Okay, let's call it Water N. Uh, F S Niagara Fluid System like that. Okay, let's open it. And here, when this has compiled, we can see that we have this little ball going here. We actually want to delete that, so it's this shallow water collision. So let's select it and delete it. After that, what we want to do, we want to save. We want to track from this and put it next to the R level. Now let's move it to our level and let's move it upwards a little bit like this. Now let's scroll down on the details and we have these world grid size. We can make it bigger like this. Around 3000 and like three and a half to the other direction. Yeah. Now let's move it to our so it fills our level like this. Now when we play, you can see that we have this nice water here, but we don't have any collision yet. So let's fix that. So let's click on the water actor and let's go up to here where we have actor tags. We have this collider as default. Let's change the ca uh, C to capital C. I like to make them all capital, like the collider. Now to the component tags, we have to add another tag. Let's make it also collider like that. So now we want to go to our uh, character, for example. Let's open it. Uh, let's search for tags. Okay, you should have all these uh, mesh, capsule component, actor, all these things here. If you don't, you have to select the whole actor, PP third person character. Now on the actor, we want to add a tag. So collider. Okay, now we also have to add the tag to the mesh that we want to, to collide with, or with the actor uh, component that we want to collide with. So for example, our mesh here, component tags. Let's add a tag, and let's also put that collider there. So now let's compile, save, and let's play. Now we have collision with the water, but it is lagging and glitching. How we can fix that? I will show you. Let's open the water in AFC. And here what we want to do, we want to select our shallow water emitter here. Mm, let's click on the scene. We have uh, velocity dissipation. We want to make this a little bit smaller. So like 0 0.01, let's start with that. Okay, you can play with it later. And what else we want to do? We want to here under under the emitter update. Want to click on that, and we have this DT multiplier. So this is basically the play rate of the or like uh, physics simulation rate of the of this Niagara uh, system. So let's make it like 0.5, you can obviously put whatever you want there, but 0.5, I think that's pretty good. Let's save. Let's go to the person map and let's try again. It should look a lot better. So like this, it looks pretty realistic already. So yeah, I actually think that was all for this video. If you like what you saw, please click the like button and subscribe for more. Yeah, hope you have a great day and see you in the next one. Bye.